on the flip side of the great trophy run and the fact we had all those games in hand to catch up win the league meant we had to play not a strongest size maybe in, in the two other competitions was it disappointing to reach two semi-finals in those and maybe not go on to the final and maybe win some silverware yeah yeah definitely um uh, you can't say you would have we would have gone on and won any of them but uh you'd like to think we'd have had a good chance if we uh, could have put out a strong team uh, in both <clears throat> um regret not regret because our hands our cards were dealt and we knew that and we just had to deal with it the best way we thought uh, we could um we got to the final and you know was one step away from achieving it the ultimate uh, goal challenge for us and um yeah that's how it goes but <clears throat> i wouldn't have changed it i wouldn't have tried to um win the the london senior cup or the Ryman cup and then not get in the playoffs uh, so you know, it's just how it goes. I know most managers prefer having points on the board rather than the games in hand. You had a lot of pressure because I think that once you had five games in hand on teams around you. How well did the boys deal with the pressure of, of those games, taking one at a time and getting them back into the top three? Yeah, they did. I think <clears throat> at that point we started to get a bit more, a bit more focused as a group, and a bit more confident, a bit more belief. So they knew that um, they could look at one game at a time and win that game, and then literally think about the next game afterwards. Um, the winning mentality in the group was there at that time, which was easier to um, to get that message across as well. Um, whereas at the start of the season, if we won a game, <clears throat> we'd literally get very complacent, almost relieved that we'd won a game, and then literally that means we could draw the next game or you know. But now uh, at that point, we got to a point where we wanted to win every game, believe we could win every game. Um, in the players more so. There weren't too many blips in that final couple of months of the season. One was the Billericay game here at home. How much mental character did it take to go there three days later and produce a completely opposite performance as we did on that night? Yeah, I think <clears throat> I think that was important for um, for us. I thought that was important for um, for the league as well. I thought Billericay looked as though if they had beaten us again, they probably would have steamrolled into the playoffs and. Um, the, the players that they've got you could definitely see that they've been capable and I think <clears throat> our win probably slowed them down uh, and I know they picked up a few other uh, uh, losses as well but um, they looked like they was on a, on a roll and looked like they were going to go and steamroll it and get in the playoffs and um, I don't think anyone would have wanted to play them at that point uh, with that sort of uh, with everything going on around it there's a lot of uh, media and a lot of hype around what was going on so it was good for the league, but um, more importantly, it was good for us because we didn't turn up on the on the Saturday game um, as, as well as Billericay played um, on the day. I thought they were very good, but um, <coughs> we equally wasn't very good, and um, we had to make sure we we did ourselves justice on the Tuesday, which I felt we did, and uh, we put in a really good performance. One massive plus point from the final probably six seven weeks of the season was the partnership between Gavin and Ibra up front. Is that something they worked on in training? Because obviously you had lots of DD not playing, Dipper not playing, who were brought in for their goals. In fact, those two kept them out the side. Was that something they'd worked on? Did it come naturally to them? I think after a, a long season, you start to know how each other plays. Um, we didn't have a particular preferred partnership, to be honest with you. So they all had to dovetail with each other, <clears throat> understand each other's strengths. Um, you know, DD will play a certain way, Dipper will play a certain way, and Gav and Ibra. And they literally had to work off each other and understand which he, what they were both good at or what each were good at. Um, and as I said earlier, they got to a point of sort of February, March, where those two seemed to be in, in strongest form, either through uh, injury or whatever it may have been. Um, so they started to play a bit more together, and that's where the natural understanding comes. That hat trick that Ibra scored in the semi final against him, <coughs> one of the classiest hat tricks you've ever seen? At this level, yeah. At this level, definitely. Um, I think. I remember Erhan probably doing a few special hat tricks as well, but um, Ibra showed a, a little glimpse of his real quality on that night. He, he showed um, that he has the quality to to play higher, and he he showed also um, why he played higher on that night. And uh, for us, we just want to see if we can get that out of him on a more consistent basis next season. And um, I still think he's uh, young enough to still play at a higher level of football. And, um, I think this is the best place for him to, to get that done um, and push on and really and really um, use that ability that he's got naturally. We've spoken about the natural cohesion this squad has this year. 
I'm guessing the hope will be to keep the majority of them next year and look to go again and take the form we've had from the second half of the season into uh, August and then hopefully push for the title uh, challenge next year. <coughs> we've been very lucky um, over the years. We've changed the squad um, and started the season really well. And this year, I think our luck ran out with that. I think we, we got this squad, which is a good squad, but um, we, we didn't start well. So um, I think uh, having this, this team together again this year Starting the season with them, they know each other, they know what they're good at, they know what they're bad at, <coughs> would actually serve as um, uh, an advantage to us. And um, So we're trying to keep as many people as possible. There are obviously one or two that we feel that we may need to, to bring in to strengthen, but um, we are really talking about one and two. Uh, and then if we have to add during the season, then great, but um, we're very happy with what we had uh, at the end of the season. Put you on the spot with some quick fire questions sure. now. If you had to pick one player from this season for your player of the season, could you do that? Or was it very tough this year? Yeah, it's tough. I think um, in terms of real consistency, I'd go for Ibrahim Carbo. Um, I know <clears throat> he had an injury, but I, um, when he didn't play, uh, we really knew he didn't play. Uh, and that's, that's sometimes how you can judge uh, the importance of a player. Um, his uh, presence in the, in the team was literally uh, felt or lost uh, when he did or didn't play, and um, I felt, yeah, when when it, I think Ibrahim would have been the player for me as a manager who um, would have stood out last season. Favorite goal? There's been a few. I mean, I, I looked at, I looked at the goals of the season. Um, there were some really good ones. Um, I think for the moment, I think probably the Ashley goal against Mac was. Um, Probably the best team goal, and um, for the you know the occasion as well. So probably that one. And it might be the Macclesfield game, but is there a favourite match that sticks out as well? Um, no, probably the Braintree one, <coughs> the one at home. Um, you know, boys exceeding probably what they thought they could do uh, on a night, uh, playing really good football as well. Not just doing it in a you know in a, a lucky way. They did it in a, a really considered way, calculated way. I thought we. Um, we were value for our win. Um, probably got a lot of people interested in the club as well, so I think they're very true one. 